If you're an artist that is trying to teach yourself how to go about painting portraits, I have a step-by-step -step guide today on how you can go about that process. Becoming the kind of artist that you see on the internet or in galleries can be very difficult, especially if you're trying to teach yourself, but there is a roadmap that can get you there. But before we get into that, I just want to quickly mention that the video you're watching today is a cut down version of a tutorial that I have on my Patreon account where you can learn how to become a better portrait painter. Within all of these tutorials, you will get a good view of my palette as well as the painting surface so that you can learn every aspect of how I approach my paintings. Looking back at how I developed my painting skills as a self-taught artist, there were quite a few things that I had to be aware of before I even got started. Now, I'm sure all of you here have some degree of ability in either drawing or painting, and you're just trying to level up your abilities. And the reason you're probably starting to think of ways to improve your process or improve the quality of your work is because you either wanna start selling your work or start showing it in galleries. And to do that, there's a lot of different things you have to consider before you make those necessary improvements. The first step that I think every artist, no matter what you're trying to do as far as improving your skills, you're gonna have to set clear goals. For me, I think the first goal I had was just learning how to paint. I didn't really know how to paint whatsoever. I was drawing for the first 20 years of my life before I really jumped into painting with oils or acrylics. And since this was about 24 years ago, the internet was still kind of in its earlier days, but there was still the ability to search for online tutorials and finding people that would give me the information I needed. And I found some great websites out there that would help me understand the mixing of acrylic paints because that's how I started was with acrylics. And I learned all the basic fundamentals of mixing certain colors, finding certain colors on my palette. And that was the first goal that I wanted to achieve. But today, if you're in that same category where you're trying to make the switch from drawing to painting, there are so many new options out there. There's social media, of course there's still Google, but there's gonna be so many other things that you can find online than I could 20 years ago that will help you along your journey. Just make sure when you're learning advanced skills to make your oil paintings better that you start from the foundation and work your way up. You wanna focus on things like surface preparation, composition, understanding drawing, making sure that you have really solid color mixing abilities. You also wanna have really good brushwork. You wanna have great control with many different kinds of brushes. You wanna understand whether you wanna layer your work or work a la prima, which is all wet into wet. Make sure that you understand the drying times of all your individual paints, what's opaque, what's transparent as far as the paints go, and just making sure you know where your strengths and weaknesses lie. The second pretty obvious step that I think is gonna have to happen next is you're gonna have to go out and get the necessary supplies. You're gonna have to get the oil paints if you decide to go with the oils. You're gonna have to get the brushes, the palette, the palette knife, the canvas or the panels, the medium, and whatever else you're gonna need for cleaning your brushes. All of these things are gonna have to be purchased at some point before you can really go further. Now, once you have this all in place, you understand what your goals are, you have the supplies, then you can finally start learning about the techniques that you're gonna to want to implement in your work. And what's the best way to figure out what techniques you need to learn? Well, first off, I would say start painting anything that you can think of. It doesn't really matter if it's an abstract, if it's a portrait or a still life, just see where you're at with your particular skills. And once you know where you're at, say you're doing all of these things and you just know you're not getting that good, go out to the internet, go out to social media, find all the painters that are sharing videos, that are sharing tutorials. There is so much free content out there that you don't really have to pay for a lot of this anymore to get the kind of information you want now. This may get to a point where you've kind of leveled off, you're not getting all the information you need, and you will probably have to break down and pay for a couple tutorials here and there to learn those extra in-depth things that maybe are just not as obvious through the free tutorials that you find online. Now, after you've gotten better with your painting practice, after going through some courses and tutorials, you may start wanting to get more specific with your particular style or learn some more advanced techniques that you can't find in these tutorials. And this would be when you need to look for fellow artists online that have a specific style that maybe you're after. 
For me, when I was first getting going, I was obsessed with finding other artists that were abstract portrait painters like myself. All those artists usually share a brush stroke or two through their videos. And you can take just those little snippets of individual brush strokes and learn quite a bit. You can see how they hold their brush, what kind of medium they're using. Do they let their layers dry before they go into the next layer? How much paint are they using? How thin is it? How thick is it? All of these things can be figured out for one single brush stroke. Once you're at this point and you're really starting to hone in on certain styles that you really like, I think this is when you just need to make sure that you're practicing regularly because these skills that you're learning are very perishable. If you go a week, two weeks, a month without doing some sort of painting, you're going to lose some of that sharpness and focus that you've built up over the course of your practice. So make sure that you are always doing something, whether it's maybe painting for an hour each day, just don't go too long. Don't go more than a week without painting because you will notice a drop off in your abilities if you do so. At this point, things start to get a little bit more exciting. This is when you can finally start putting together a portfolio of consistent work. This is when other people will start to take you more seriously. When your work is cohesive and has a theme to it, you can start sharing it with galleries around town. Start with the lower galleries first. Maybe don't jump to the biggest galleries, but just try to find some places that you can put your work into their space and share it with the public and start getting feedback for your work. This is a really great point in your journey where you can start to see how people are reacting to what you've created. And once you've created enough work and you start to sell some of it, you'll start to see what sells better and maybe even make changes based on what's selling. Now, I'm not saying you should sell out and just paint everything that sells. You should definitely stay true to the voice that you've created over all of this but always be aware of what is successful and what's not so successful as far as how it's interpreted by everyone around you. Now, if you've made it to this point and you're showing your work in galleries and other settings, you are on a great path. This is where you just need to make sure that you're constantly learning. You can do this from books, from workshops, from other artists around you. There's so many ways to keep continuing to grow and that's the key. Now that this painting is almost done, the eye's done, I'm just having some fun with some expressionism. I'd just like to quickly mention again, if you are just starting to learn how to paint portraits, you're trying to get a little bit better with it, and you're trying to get some better control with your oil paint, the best place to start could be over at my Patreon page. I have many tutorials that can start you on the right path as far as getting a good procedure in place, as far as how you approach your oil paintings. I'll give you a lot of great color mixing tips that will help you along the way as well. How to mix your paint on a palette before you even start painting. All of it will help you on your journey for sure. If you want to see more of my content, make sure to subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I will talk to you again very soon.